Howdy, howdy, howdy. Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Don't say howdy, guys. It's just a joke. The topic today is finance, the world of business. And specifically, we're going to be talking about taxes. This video is brought to you by amazing patrons like you. Later today, for those patrons, the extra vocabulary review video will be available. And of course, everybody else can experiment with the new vocabulary in the comments of this video. The most important thing, of course, always is the three dots. Click that, open transcript. It will be so much easier to read. Use the imitation technique. Well, I think that is it. Let's start this article from ProPublica. The tax plans make a gift to some of Trump's richest appointees by Alan Sloan. The Republican proposal will not only allow them to pass millions or billions to their heirs without inheritance taxes, it will also add another benefit on top of that. Let's start right away with some review. An appointee is a person that you give a job or role. You appoint them, you select them, and they are assigned. An heir is someone who is legally entitled, is given by law something that belonged to to someone else after they pass away or die. And the process of this, this exchange from property, land, something you own going from one person, the deceased, to another person, usually a younger relative, is called inheritance. In the US, there is something called the inheritance tax. When this process happens with extreme quantities of wealth, there is a tax. And what Donald Trump wants to do is reduce this tax. Also, a point here about writing. This is a very good introduction, and this is what you should do in your essays. Tell us the subject, and tell us what parts of the subject specifically, although very quickly and without very much detail, you are going to analyze. So we know that it is related to a Republican proposal, specifically about the inheritance tax, and we know that we are going to discuss how it affects or impacts certain members of Trump's cabinet, his closest political advisors. Let's go on. There are times that you run across something that's so preposterous that it's hard to believe it's true, but in this case, it is. I'm talking about the multiple and permanent set of tax breaks that some of the Trump administration's mega wealthy appointees and their heirs stand to get if the estate tax repeal in the House Republicans tax bill becomes law. The appointees I'm talking about are those with a net worth above $11 million, which is a lot of them, who sold assets that the Office of Government Ethics said would pose conflict of interest problems in their new gigs. Combine the rules that cover such sales with terms of the proposed estate tax repeal appeal, and these people get a multi-level, multi-generational bonanza. A gift that would keep on giving, and giving, and giving. Damn, we've got so much good vocabulary here. If something is preposterous, it is the opposite of common sense. It is absurd, silly, ridiculous. The author of this article does not agree with this new repeal, this new change, taking away of the inheritance tax. To stand to get something means to potentially, possibly get something, likely get something. So here, the mega wealthy, the super wealthy and rich in the US stand to get. They potentially or will possibly, probably get a lot more money. A gig is a very informal but very common way of describing your job. Oftentimes a gig is a job that's more temporary. Musicians have gigs, it's a performance. You won't often describe your desk job or your typical job as a gig again, because it sounds more temporary or something you do just once. A bonanza means good fortune, a situation or event that creates a sudden increase in wealth. So here, the wealthy are going to experience a bonanza. They're going to get more money. Let's continue. I couldn't believe what I was reading and figured that I might be overly eager to uncover gifts to the ultra rich in the house tax cut bill, which is by no means tax reform because it hurts millions of taxpayers in my home state of New Jersey and other places that aren't reliably Republican, but bestows plenty of breaks on big businesses and the rich. So I asked tax expert Bob Willens of Robert Willens LLC, whom I've consulted for decades, to show me where I was making a mistake. It turned out that Willens couldn't believe what he was reading either. When he parsed the proposed estate tax repeal provisions, I had to read that about eight times, Willens told me. It defies description. It's unheard of. It's unbelievable. Now, let me show you why, and why mega wealthy Trump appointees and their heirs would get level after level after level of tax goodies, even more than regular rich people would get. 
This is interesting, uh, this very last sentence that I read you. These are the types of transitions that you should be using in your writing. Don't simply go from one topic to the next. You need to use transitions, a way to easily go from one topic and then let us know, hey, we're going to a different topic now, so get ready. That is good writing. And simply by using this transitional vocabulary or transitional sentences, you will get extra points, even if your argument is terrible and your grammar is bad. So remember that. Uh, let's review a couple words here. If something is reliable, it is dependable, constant, and regular. So places that aren't reliably Republican, it means that sometimes these people vote for Democrats and sometimes they vote for Republicans. I'll be explaining more about the American politics in the patron review video. To bestow something means to gift something to someone, to give as a present, a kind of a luxury. So if you bestow something on or onto someone else, it's really, uh, it's really out of your generosity. To consult with someone is to share or ask for advice, also to seek or share information. If you are a consultant, people come to you for advice. And that's why if you want to consult with me, I am gladly your consultant, so put any questions in the comments box. If you want to continue the article, the link is in the description. And all those other goodies for free audiobooks, free magazines, or other books to read, all of that stuff is in the comments too. Always a pleasure. Toodaloo guys. Ciao for now.